today's video we're hoping to give you a little bit of an update we're also going to uh, break down a little bit of a play uh, kind of a preview of something that I'm working on right now uh, as an offense uh, but uh, real quick guys for those of you guys that are new finding this video uh, I want to go ahead and thank you my name is Cody and uh, at this YouTube channel our goal is to make you better um, at Madden NFL 16 an interesting quote I heard from Roger or Roger Staubach the Cowboys Hall of Fame quarterback says this it says that um, in any team sport the two pillars for success is consistency and chemistry without those two things nobody can succeed and I started thinking about this quote and I really liked it and not just for uh, Madden schematics but just for life in general and uh, and so I kind of want to implement it here on the YouTube channel so I want to start developing a little bit more of a a little bit more of an understanding of, of my subscribers you guys and so what I'm hoping to start doing is answering your questions and I know that I've said this several times but we're really truly hoping that once a week we can just sit down with and I can go through uh, a list of questions and just answer them uh, as best as I can so if you guys have questions what I really would ask you to do is just post those in the comments on, on this YouTube page, any question related to Madden 16, um, I kind of tend to be a little bit better at answering questions related to how to get better. Uh, I'm not very good at answering like, you know, what kind of mode is this, or what, you know, how does CCM work, or how does MUT work, or how does this work. I'm not really good at answering those questions because I honestly don't know. Uh, what I'm really good at answering is gameplay questions. So if you have questions like how to beat man coverage or how to beat zone coverage or how to sack the quarterback or how to those kind of things, uh, how to playmaker receivers, all sorts of things like that. Those That's where I can really um, have a little bit of knowledge to help you out. So that's what I'm looking to do with this series. Um, it's going to be once a week we're going to sit down and do this. I'm thinking that we're going to try to do it on Monday and uh, just make it mailbag Monday kind of thing. And um, and I don't want to copy anyone, but what I really just want to do, guys, I think this is the best possible way for me to engage with you guys in a way that doesn't overwhelm me. Uh, I've tried answering comments, and I've tried doing that before, and what I'm finding is that I end up getting behind on my videos, and I end up you know, losing two or three days' worth of content on my YouTube channel, which is not fair to you guys because you're coming back and watching every video that I post. So in order to help you guys and to help myself, what I hope this series will allow us to do is it will allow us to organize a way to engage with one another. And uh, and that's really what I'm hoping to do with this. Uh, a lot of the other series that we're going to be doing is going to revolve uh, around some of the decisions that I'm going to make based on the questions you're asking. So if you guys want to see things change at the YouTube channel, if you want to see different uh, types of videos or different things change within the videos or better breakdowns or breakdowns more focused on this or that, what I need you to do is I need you to talk to me. I need you to engage with me. And I need you to comment on these videos and tell me what you want to change um, on the YouTube channel. And I also need you guys to communicate what specific questions you have. Uh, if you find a play that you just can't stop, or if you, you know, if you don't know how to beat a specific defense, those kind of questions, guys, I, I can really help you out a lot in that area uh, because I personally feel like I know a little bit about that. So that's what I want to start doing here. But that's a little bit on the business side of things. And um, what I want to do now is I want to talk to you about a uh, play breakdown. Now, we're in the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook, and this is a little preview of something that I'm working on. I talk a lot about the bunch formation, and I, I really like it because it's a very, very effective way to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Well, Kansas City has this play called Kansas City Divide. Now, what you're going to notice with this play is it has a lot of similar traits to the play from Miami, the drive out play that I really I run it a lot. And uh, the cool part about the bunch formation is it has some really nice quick audibles. It has the halfback base, which is almost as good as the inside zone. It's not quite as good, but it is almost as good. It has the play verticals, which as we all know is a very effective play. And uh, I'm actually working on the something here from verticals and I haven't seen anyone really run it like this but it's and it didn't really work well that time but uh, but anyway we'll work on that later 
And it also has um, play action post, which is, which is one of my favorite plays of all time, as spacing. And so the quick audibles from this formation are just really, 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 really effective. So I kind of want to work with this a little bit because I think this could be a really good formation. Anyway, um, the key to this drive or this uh, divide wheel play is we want to use it to beat man to man coverage. So how we're going to do this um, is we want to take our running back here. And the first thing we want to do is we want to place him on an option route. Option routes are very effective for beating uh, man defense. From there, uh, we really don't have to do anything else to this play. Uh, I personally like to uh, either streak Jimmy Graham or fade him. I don't really like him on his wheel route. And uh, the main reason is just because I'm hoping that he's going to kind of rub off on Tyler Lockett's uh, defender. Anyway, when we motion Baldwin out to the outside, and you're going to see that his route beats man-to-man -man coverage, as you can see there. The next thing that we're going to look at uh, on this is the route to um, X. Tyler Lockett's route does a good job. Normally, it does a really, really good job of beating man. It's not an unbumpable route, but it is very good once it gets off the jam. The next read, I like to also sometimes put Jimmy Graham on a zig route um, because it's a nice quick little out, and it, it just does a really good job for me. Uh, I find a lot of consistency with zig routes. Some people aren't finding that, but uh, I, I'm doing fairly decent using the zig routes to beat the press man. And then you can, you know, if you wanted to, you could take Curse and just run him on a deep vertical. And this is going to be some decent, some decent route concepts here. And uh, what you're also going to see is an option route. Even though Marshawn Lynch is the one running it, normally it's going to do a decent job. Uh, right there, we, we were a little bit uh, early on our passing. We'll try to give a good example here. So get a nice cut to the outside. We get that outside pass lead. And for some reason, he's not catching it. But normally that works, especially if you have a running back with good route running. Here the halfback base. Um, it doesn't give us a good look there, but it is, it is a decent play. Um, this route to Jimmy Graham, this little um, vertical route that he's on, Against man coverage, it's not really open. As you see here, it's it's pretty well covered. So if you're just trying to beat man, then I would recommend changing him to a zig route. However, if you're playing like a cover three, uh, his route is going to do a couple things for the play. And uh, what it's going to do is, if you pass it to the inside, you're going to see against cover three, you have a nice, a nice route, really, against zone. Uh, if they go cover two, which cover two is really the only way to stop Doug Baldwin's route, um, the cool part is his vertical puts him in an interesting spot. There he gets, there the guy gets the depth. But the thing about his vertical route is that it's going to, it's going to um, open up space for your underneath receivers. So if they go zone cover two like this, this well, they got the pressure in. So if they go zone cover two, what you'll see is this crossing pattern underneath is going to be open. And that was covered to sink even with man coverage. So um, this is just something I was trying to work with a little bit. Um, I really think that it's really good for beating man-to-man. -man. The cool part is this route to lock it, which I never really thought about working. It actually works fairly consistently for me anyway. He just gets a ton of separation. Um, now, what I would probably say is is best, is if I'll just um, show you here. Now, that was cover two man. Now, I want to just show you one of the issues with this play before we wrap up here. One of the issues is really spacing. And against cover two man, a lot of people ignore, this is cover two man, I'm facing it. And they ignore the ability of the safety to come down. As you see here, the safety's in the deep blue, but he's going to come down and play this uh, crossing pattern because there's no deep route that he has to contend with. I'm finding in this game the importance of at least one streak on every play. It really does have some value. So what I would recommend doing is taking Javon Curse and just putting him on a deep vertical, whether it be a fade or a streak, whatever one you feel more comfortable with. And then from there, putting Marshawn Lynch on his uh, option route. 
And then normally, you could leave Jimmy Graham on his little uh, his little vertical route. You could put him on a zig. It doesn't really it doesn't really have a whole lot of bearing to what we want to show you here. But the cover two man, this is uh, with press coverage, and you're going to see that this crossing pattern just it destroys it. As you can see here, once he gets off of the press coverage, um, this route just has so so many opportunities for you. So I just want to watch here. He's going to get off that press, and then he's just going to like kind of just cross, and like this guy just gets toasted, and you're able to get a lot of separation against man, and you see that this safety is now backed off. He can't possibly come down. Now what this is going to lead them to do is it's going to lead them to use of that crossing route. And the second that they try to use of the crossing route, watch what you're going to be able to do as an offense. So they try to use of the crossing route by coming down and manually defending it. And now you're going to have this one-on-one -on -one over the top. And normally your guy will come down with that. Um, but anyway. Okay, so that's a couple reasons why this bunch formation is very appealing to me uh, among the many other ones, but this one from Kansas City specifically because it has a couple of plays that most bunch formations do not have and it also uh, has some really nice quick audibles. So possibly going to be working with this offense a little bit more, uh, but let me know what you guys think. And more importantly, guys, if you could just do me a favor and just give me some topics, some questions that you may have, be as specific or as vague as you want, and uh, and hopefully I can answer some of them. I'm just trying to help you guys get better at the game, and uh, I just need your guys' help to let me know what I can do better uh, to do that. So, guys, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And if you can do me a favor, if you're new to the YouTube channel, uh, I would ask you to subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. That way, when you subscribe, you're going to get